All right, guys. So today we're gonna be reacting to Miyako from Love Bites. She's gonna be doing like a like a cover from Eagle Fly Free, and this is one of the songs that you guys recommended to me. And I'm just gonna jump in and see what's going on here. She seemed like a very well-rounded classical musician, and you know, based on the A two that you, she played from Chopin, that's not an A C A two. It's the easiest. Of all etudes, right? I will say that one and the what's the other one? The E, uh, e major one. That is one of the easiest. They're still difficult inside the realm of difficulties. They're all difficult, but those are the easiest. Mm -hmm. So we have Miyako. <laughs> Just Miyako, but I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, right? Miyako from the bites, uh, love bites, and let's see. Man, some of these. Search engine stuff is kind of weird. So let's just talk a little bit about her. She's um, she's a guitar, piano, baking vocal. So she does vocal as well. Backing vocals, not baking, back, uh, backing vocals. Um, birthplace, uh, Japan. And she was, hold on, what's going on here? She does have a little Wikipedia thing going on here. Let me see. She had like a small about. Let's go here and see. Yeah, she seemed like a very well-rounded musician. Having grown up listening to classic rock bands like Deep Purple and Rainbow with her mother, Miyako ended up being very influenced by Richie Blackmore. But she has also been influenced by more than, more modern guitarists, uh, such as Timothy Henson and Scott LePage from uh, Polyphia. That's a guitar player, right? Uh, he still plays, stuff like that, very young. And... I mean, yeah, she seemed like a very rounded musician. Now, I'm guessing that she studied classical music, that's for sure. And you can tell by her technique. And some of you guys were saying that she was playing some passages from Rachmaninoff uh, Piano Concerto. I don't remember which one it was. So I'm, I'm just curious to see what is going to be presented here. I just want to jump in. Make sure you like to subscribe. For donation, you can do Super Chat. Also, you can go to the description down below. All that stuff in the meantime, let's jump in. Yeah, that's an arm movement. Is moving too much, man. The camera is moving too much. Let me see. Let me see her fingers. A little bit of the Beethoven pathetic right there. Mm, that's a little bit pathetic right there. Mm. Okay, sequence. Oh, 
okay. Ah, she used a lot of pulling fingers too, huh? That's very Japanese right there. That's what I'm talking about. That small passage. Very uh, Japanese influenced kind of modern tone. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. Nice bridge in her hand, right hand. Chopin arpeggios kind of thing in the le that left hand. Cherny as well. Very strong romantic technique. Nice job. Not at least you, very grandioso kind of rep, um, cover, I would say. Grandioso, I would say more nationalistic. Not in the sense of, not in the sense of any type of nationalistic, just a style, right? But let's, let's go back to uh, late 19th century, beginning of the 20th century, talking about the beginning of nationalism. You're going to see a lot of grandioso kind of things, kind of themes. You can see that in Rachmaninoff and even here in the United States, you can see that in the late uh, McDowell's kind of songs when they want to just do like songs like patriotic nationalistic, right? And the reason for that is if you put that in practice, it's just there's no radios. There's no, there's no way you can just pump people up with one song. So you have to make things bigger, right? So that's the tan run tan tan. It's a beautiful style. Are you majestic? It's a beautiful style if you know how to do it correctly. Right? When I see when in music when I try to define certain characteristics because it's a very abstract art. The only concrete evidence that we have of music is just what is written. Right, we can hear it, right, and the closest thing we can just see it while we hear it if we just write the notes and the dynamics, and that's the most concrete things that we can see. But we really don't know in their deepest form what it is. And I don't know, man. I, I she playing the piano, just I get into that moment. I love the piano, man. Ah. Love the piano, man. You guys have no idea how much I love that instrument. Right now, I have electronic electronic piano, man. It's killing me. The The middle section doesn't work. I'm just doing technique, man, not to lo lose myself. Sorry, reading all this stuff. Keep practicing my repertoire until I get my piano. But it kills me, man. And seeing great, great pianists just performing their instrument. I'm a little jealous. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm not going to lie. Mijako, nice job. Nice job. Great, 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 great performance. Right, I'm looking here in 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 Google. There's a lot of simps asking if uh, Majako is married. 
Bro, just focus on yourself, man. Forget about her. She's already taken, man. Just take, just take the L. Take the L. Let me know what you guys think. If you want me to keep reacting to Miyako and Love Bites, let me know what song you want me to react next to it. In the meantime, I will see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.